Hello, this is Eric with Bain Group, and thank you for joining us in another video. This is part two of a two-part series. If you have not watched part one, I recommend you start there. You can find the link in the description below. Okay, so let's begin. And today's video, we're going to talk about how to create Excel dashboards from a SharePoint list. In part one, we covered how to export your data from SharePoint list to Excel and how to create various charts in Excel. In part two, we're going to cover how to put all those charts into one page and how to make sure your data is always up to date. So let's begin. Now we can join all of our charts together into one view. So in order to do that, let's open up a new sheet. Click on that first cell. Click F11. It's going to create a new sheet down here and we can, and we're going to name that dashboard. Perfect. Now let's go back and find all of our charts. We want to insert into our dashboard and all we have to do is right click, click move chart and pick the dashboard sheet. Okay going to move here and now it's displaying on our dashboard sheet. Let's add the re the remaining of our charts. Move chart. Dashboard. Perfect. And we can resize them if needed. Right, let's grab this one. All right, and this is how you create an Excel dashboard driving from SharePoint data. You can save this workbook um, into your OneDrive or a SharePoint document library. And if you're wondering if this data refreshes to update, it surely does. It really does. Um, let's try that out. Let's test it out. So let's look at our total product costs. And keep in mind all of these numbers, but I'm going to focus on this one. So our total sales are $19,627.88. So let's see if this will refresh when I edit the SharePoint list data. I'm going to hide this for now. We're back in the SharePoint list data. And I want to delete some of these items. So that should reduce my uh, sales. Keep in mind that currently is 19,627. So let's delete a couple of these items. This is really going to drop my sales. I'm going to delete all of these. Perfect. We're going to exit quick edit. And we're still at 19,000. But all you have to do is click on the data tab and click this refresh button. This is going to grab the data back from SharePoint and update it. And it's going to update our dashboards. Check it out. See, now our sales have dropped to 6,000. And that's because I deleted a lot of those sales items. So this is how you can keep track of your SharePoint list data, visualize that data, and always stay on up to date. This dashboard you can save onto your OneDrive, your desktop, or anywhere you like. Thank you for joining us in another video, and I hope you learned something new. Thank you.